Slugline 2, people, it's finally here, and all I gotta say is we finally got Dark Mode. Slugline has been my go-to screenwriting app of choice for many years, and I have tried out most of the options out there, because you know what's better than writing? Trying out every single different writing software, hoping they'll fix the plot holes in your script. I've actually been using Slugline since 2013. I love how minimal Slugline is, and I love how you can just write without having to worry about a ton of the logistics or the hotkeys. Slugline just figures out what you're trying to write and gets the formatting right as you write. It's confusing. It's pretty much everything I've wanted and needed while writing a script. Well, almost. For the past few years, it's felt like it's kind of been falling behind a little bit behind other screenwriting software. Up until a few weeks ago, the app essentially felt the same as the day I bought it. Not necessarily a bad thing, I bought it because I liked it. But Slugline 2 is now fresh and clean, fresh new features that I have actually been craving for quite a while. The biggest one that everyone is excited about, Dark Mode. The amount of people I've seen pestering the Slugline team on Twitter for Dark Mode is next level, but I'm pretty excited about it. The amount of times that I've cracked my laptop open for a late night writing session only to be blinded by what seems to be the sun emitting from my screen is just, it's been way too many times. Dimming just isn't the same. I've even resorted to inverting my colors just so that I could comfortably write in bed at night. Now, dark mode isn't like a groundbreaking feature in an app in the year 2020, but it is a very welcome feature in an app that I am eager to support. If you're anything like me, outlining is a very important part of your story breaking process. And it is honestly one of the parts that can cause me the most trouble. Outlining and breaking requires total freedom for me. And for some reason, outlining always feels so permanent. I write in a notebook and suddenly I'm wasting all these precious pages with this permanent pen. I type it out in a notes app and everything gets really messy and jumbled and I don't really know what is what. These sound like some really wimpy issues, but seriously, I need all the help I can get. I was so excited to see that Slugline 2 has drag and drop outlining. Guys, I've been wishing for something like this for so long, you have no idea. I once tried to outline an entire feature film in Google Slides because I thought I could make each slide into its own index card that I could drag and drop. It didn't work, I, don't, I didn't like it. But now I've got an outlining feature built into my favorite screenwriting app, and so far I like it. So this is a really amazing feature that I'm pretty pumped about. Another new thing that comes with Slugline 2 is the Final Draft import and export feature. Final Draft is the industry standard screenwriting software. So when you finish your award-winning script, you're probably gonna need this functionality. And I've never written an award-winning feature film. And I've still needed this ability multiple times in the past, so I'm pretty pumped that it's included. You can also create title pages way easier. You can live compare writing changes. It constantly auto saves. Thank you. But one of the coolest things, and one of the reasons why I think this is the best screenwriting app for new writers and filmmakers, is that all of these professional features are free for the first six pages of your script. That might not sound that great, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I've written a ton of things in Slugline and probably 90% of what I've written has been under six pages. Most of what I've written in the past were just short films, anywhere from two to five pages. I plan to release this video sooner after it came out, but I wanted to make sure that I had written something somewhat substantial before releasing this review into the world. And so far, my experience is, after using it for a few weeks, is that it feels just like the same old slug line that I've loved all of these years, except this time, I had more features available to me, and it still didn't feel clunky, so 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. It's, yep. I'm very happy with it, I would use it. Um, it's good, I am pleased, thank you.